in good times and in bad, Europe can count on the United States. Always. Now, here in Warsaw, we haven't simply reaffirmed our enduring Article 5 obligations to our common security. We're moving forward with the most significant reinforcement of our collective defense any time since the Cold War. First, we're strengthening NATO's defense and deterrence posture, building on our European Reassurance Initiative, which has already increased readiness from the Baltics to the Black Sea. Our alliance will enhance our forward presence on our eastern flank. As I announced yesterday, the United States will be the lead nation here in Poland, deploying a battalion of American soldiers. The United Kingdom will take the lead in Estonia, Germany and Lithuania, and Canada in Latvia. This will mean some 4,000 additional NATO troops on a rotational basis in this region. Moreover, the additional U.S. Armored Brigade will rotate through Europe, uh, include, uh, including an additional 4,000 U.S. troops. Meanwhile, to the south, we agreed on new deterrence measures in Romania and Bulgaria. So NATO is sending a clear message that we will defend every ally. We're also strengthening the readiness of our forces against a range of threats. So NATO's Joint Task Force is now operational and can deploy anywhere in Europe on short notice. With recent progress here in Poland, Romania, and Spain, NATO's ballistic missile defense is coming online, and we're launching a new effort to boost the resilience of allies to better defend against new types of threats, including cyber attacks.